Hey folks, uh, Mechanic Dave here. Uh, I've been working on this 2016 Chevy Duramax with a 6.6. Um, customer uh, complained, uh, he was driving down the road, it was a no start, or it shut down, then he couldn't get it to start. Um, I suspected maybe it was a fuel issue. Uh, he claimed he didn't have contaminated fuel because he'd had the same batch for quite a while. Um, Pulled the, uh, pulled the CP4 sensor at the top and um, had a glitter festival down in there. Um, so, talked the fella into a good old fashioned CP4 to CP3 conversion kit. Um, pretty cool kit. I'm just now getting started with it. Um, I will say, Fishing that booger out was quite the challenge. Uh, a lot of hard lines in the way. Um, more to come. I'm still trying to determine exactly how everything goes. Uh, the injector, I already swapped out new injectors and uh, I got new lines to install. Um, other than that, I, I highly recommend if you're gonna do this system, go ahead and get a fast kit as well. Um, I did end up getting an air dog uh, F100 for this sucker. And that was probably pretty simple. I got a little freaked out because I did one for a power stroke before. And that was, you know, everything goes on the back of the heads and in no man's land uh, connected to the, the back of the heads. But on this uh, Duramax, they conveniently put it, let me grab a light. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. So you got a little uh, plate under here, and that was a breeze to connect to. And you're only going to connect uh, the supply line from the tank, and then it'll plug in there. Then there's a like a T-fitting adapter that gets put on the filler neck. And you'll run you'll run one line. You can see the big line right there. You'll run that one line all the way to the engine bay. And uh, when we get to the engine bay, it's uh, going to connect here. So it'll take care of the, the metal line. This primary gets deleted and then you get a bigger volume hose essentially with all these cool little quick disconnects. So super easy. Then the wiring harness was another breeze too. I'm not gonna be hooking it up just quite yet. So you got two that go to the two that go to the battery, and then you got one that's gonna go in the fuse box. Um, they made the wiring super easy compared to the past. Before you had a bunch of random stuff, and then you got one relay you're gonna bolt to the side of the firewall in there, <coughs> and then. Uh, we went ahead and uh, straight piped her so she can breathe a little better. Uh, let me see if I can do that. You can see the straight pipe in there. And then you can see the fast over there. So ultimately this fellow is going to be pretty pleased with his stuff. And uh, yeah, all that can go away. Um, but anyways, uh, if you get in this predicament, I highly recommend you go on the CP4 to CP3 conversion. Um, Want to hear the sad thing about this? This beautiful truck the gentleman just bought, like literally just bought, only had 70 or it had 68,000 miles on her when she shelled out like that. So sad. These products should last a lot longer than that. I mean, you guys work way too hard for your money to be dealing with crap like this. Anyways, uh, I know I wasn't very informative about anything. I just wanted to show my excitement about the conversion. Let you know I've never done one. I'm in progress of, um, and I will post another video about how everything goes after the fact. And if anyone has any questions, feel free to shoot me a message. Hope you guys have a good day.